Oh, perfect. He's back in the he's back in the boxing ring. Um, are you sort of surprised to see the, the, the turnaround and how quick this has that he's, he's back in the ring against AJ and you know fighting Fury and AJ once again? Uh, no, not surprised. Um, a busy fighter is a dangerous fighter, and that's for both um, uh, Anthony Joshua and Francis Ngannou. So it's just a good thing to be busy and uh, and to be motivated to train and have a big event to look forward to. It's a good thing. And when you see, you know, there's always sort of the media comes out and they have sort of a. The, the, fight, the predictions already made about the fight, you know, Joshua being the boxer. How much for yourself as a coach do you sort of have to, have to make Francis believe in himself in a way that, you know, you can beat this guy? Oh, no, it's nothing to make him believe. If you know Francis' story, the way he grew up, he had to believe in himself or he wouldn't even be here. He wouldn't even probably be alive on the hardships he's had. So it's not about making him believe. It's just that he already believes. <laughs> Forget believe. We already know. You can believe, but it's a difference when you know, and Francis knows, I know, his entire team knows what Francis can do. And it's just the media and the world doesn't know, and that's why he has to show them. He showed them October 28th, kicking off Riyadh season, he's going to show them March 8th. Uh, you know, eight weeks to come. We know what's going to happen, we're going to train hard and make that a reality. And do you feel like Francis will have this this confidence that he goes into after having so much so much success against Tyson Fury? That you know, how good, however good he was on October 28th, you know, now he's got this. It'll be that's 20, 30 percent better on March the 8th, and, and, it, and it's going to be a scary guard in there. That's what we expect. His first fight in boxing was a 10 round fight. There was a few areas where we had to, it was uncertain because he had never did it before. This is our second time. We expect that sort of improvement for sure. All we know, he's going to work hard and he will be ready to compete and win on March 8th. And Garnu said AJ has a weak chin. Do you believe that yourself? Um, I don't necessarily believe that. Um, AJ's an Olympic gold medalist. He's been tested in many of fights. He's been hit in many of fights. So I don't follow that same sentiment. But if I were Francis Ngannou, of course I would feel that way. Because to him, everyone everyone has a weak chin. With the power he possesses, he could put anyone out. So everyone has a weak chin if you're Francis Ngannou. Just the last one for me. What are the differences between Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua when you know you're preparing for a fight? What, how, how, how style matchup, how do you feel like this is different? Um, the huge differences. Tyson is a highly faceted, highly dimensional fighter with 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 a lot of different styles. Um, Anthony is more of a conventional boxer with an excellent jab and great punching power. So his, I feel like when it comes to basics, Joshua has the better basics out of him and uh, Tyson. But Tyson has way more dimensions. So this fight is going to be simple, sharp, strong. And, and we'll see what happens. Uh, Joshua will be there to be hit. He will try to, to bring the pressure to Francis as well. So we don't expect him running around and sticking and moving. We expect mano y mano, fire versus fire. And like I said, the flaming fist of Francis will finish Joshua. Dewey, top man, mate. Appreciate your time, mate. Thank you. We need to think of a new advert for freebets.com. Get your best betting offers from freebets.com. Yeah, that'll do. The following deals are now live.